Here's all the apps I have on my iPhone to help me with my fitness. First, let's talk about the Athletic app. Athletic is the app that I use to do everything on my Apple Watch that I used to do on my Whoop, like track my recovery, track my HRV, track my resting heart rate, my sleep, all of that. And I have a widget on my phone that shows me every day. When I wake up, last night I got 7.1 on my sleep score and I'm in the green, 85% recovered, which is awesome. If I open the app, I get to see that, again, I'm recovered, I've got a decent amount of sleep, I have had no exertion today so far, uh, however, I've burned like 894 calories just existing right there. And if I scroll down, I can take a look at my stress today so far, my HRV and all of that is in check, I can actually take a look at those numbers, where my HRV is, my resting heart rate, respiratory rate, blood oxygen, wrist temperature, all of that is fantastic. In fact, I was sick two weeks ago, and these numbers were all over the place, I had, I had a high temperature, my HRV was in the basement and uh, my resting heart rate respiratory rate all of that was totally messed up so I really like athletic because it does everything that I needed the whoop to do without paying $30 a month I think I pay $30 a year for this so it's the first app I use for those of you that were wondering do I still like the Apple watch over the Garmin and over the whoop 100% absolutely I do it's been such a great piece of equipment on my wrist at all times. In fact, if you saw me at the CrossFit Games or any competition, I had it on there because I wanted to actually record and track all of my like statistics in my heart rate and all of that while I was competing at the games. So I have all that data. It's really fun to have that and to build that data over time. And of course I use Athletic to track that as well. I also use the fitness app that comes built in with the iPhone with the Apple Watch. So whenever I start a workout or a workout automatically starts on my watch, it's recorded in the fitness app. So if I just start the workout on my watch by pressing this side button and I click to start a workout, which I'm not going to do right now, it will track that and I can find that data in the fitness app later. So I can take a look at the fitness app. This is today. Nothing has happened today so far. So I can actually take a look at my history, show more, and I can look at yesterday where I did some zone two cycling. Yesterday Yesterday and it was zone two with the skill, which is something I really enjoy doing. I did 30 minutes of zone two on the Concept2 bike. Every five minutes I hopped off and I did some sandbag cleans just to be practicing that skill. Competition is coming up this weekend and I always like to mix zone two with some skill like rope climbs or sandbag cleans or pistol squats or something crossovers, maybe something I need to work on. And every five minutes I'll hop off and it'll actually bump up that heart rate a little bit because sometimes the heart rate creeps down a little bit on zone two. Anyway, I can take a look at this. It was 40 minutes total, the total calories that I burned. I'm not really worried about that or my average heart rate, which was a little bit lower than zone two, but that's also counting the time that I forgot to stop the clock. If I show more on the heart rate, I can see that technically I was in zone one. I was just under the 123 beats per minute mark. I wasn't really, really working on zone two yesterday. I was really just trying to keep kind of a, a decent heart rate going, but I ideally want to be in zone two. And I was in zone two for almost 10 minutes of it. I had a couple of spikes where I touched zone three, I guess just one time or maybe twice briefly during the sandbag cleans. And that's just some fun data. I also did the Wadapalooza qualifier yesterday with just a million double unders, walking lunges, shoulder to overhead with those dumbbells as well. And I can take a look at these segments. I can take a look at this heart rate and see where I was at in that workout. And again, I started it and it looks like I jumped straight up into zone three, hung out in zone four a lot. Uh, the double unders and the walking lunges, shoulder to overhead, all of that just really got that zone four cooking. Spent a little time in zone five at the very end when I was really trying to eke out those last few reps to make sure that I I don't know. I finished strong. That's all I wanted to do on the Wadapalooza workouts. Just finish strong. I'm not actually competing at Wadapalooza, but it's fun to do the, the qualifiers. And that's what this workout looked like. And then again, I finished and I didn't stop my watch right at the end of the workout. I actually like to see how my heart rate drops. I normally don't stop right away. Anyway, this is the fitness app and I have all of my workouts, all of my fitness. I can go back to the CrossFit Games and see where I was at there. I've got outdoor cycling, which I did on the 7th. You know, all of this, a pool swim, all of that is tracked in here and I love to have that data with me at all times just to go back and review this. Next is Beyond the Whiteboard. That's where Boulder Athlete, my training program, has all of our programs. All Boulder athletes have access to the Boulder Athlete Compete program, the daily program, and the minimal equipment program so that, you know, if they're competitors and they can do two sessions a day, which is typical for the Compete program, they can do that. If they only have about an hour that day, they can do the daily program. Or if they're traveling and they only have access to dumbbells, they 
they've got the minimal equipment program and all of these workouts are all synced up so if you can't get something done on the daily program because you're traveling you're gonna get a very similar stimulus on the minimal equipment program it's pretty cool that way if we go into the compete program we've got a daily brief which is just me talking about the day of training we have Tuesday morning endurance which is something we do almost every Tuesday morning I can add my score in here or I can take a look at a leaderboard see where people are at on this which is pretty awesome and I can do that with part two of Boulder endurance I can do part three of Boulder endurance or session two which is six to eight hours later we've got warm-ups we've got uh, our clean and jerk warm-up this afternoon is Olympic lifting it's a deload week so all the percentages are very very light this week which is just a nice delightful experience given the past four weeks of solid training that we've been doing and our Metcon today is one of the MFC qualifier Metcons which is pretty fun I love beyond the whiteboard because it tracks data as well one of the things that I really like to do in here is use a program called Tempest so what Tempest will allow me to do is create a match and what I can do is I can coordinate with other athletes around the world and say hey guys at 3 p.m. Eastern time let's all do the every second counts workout and I create a match in beyond the whiteboard and three two one go we can all be doing the workout the exact same time and see where we're at the other thing I could do is I can actually record my workout using the Tempest beta program and then I can end up being a ghost that someone else can go against at a later time so we're building this out it's still in beta but it's just super cool and we've been able to do this a few times where I've set a pace as a ghost and then other athletes have chased me down and when you see the ghosts you can often catch that ghost and attempt to beat them so it's pretty cool people that have used beyond the whiteboard for a long time love the amounts of data that is built in here over time for example every workout that has like pull-ups it'll track those pull-ups so after a year you can go back and see how many pull-ups you've done that year when they've showed up in different workouts and different med cons or how many back squats you've done or how many thrusters you've done that year it's it's really fun. You can look at all that data if you're super geeky. Another app I use all the time is the Circle app. This is where we have the Boulder Athlete community and resources. So we've just got a general feed where we're all sharing strategies, thoughts, video review, inspiration, uh, workout strategies. We also have frequently asked questions in here. It's a really good place to look for questions that come up just all the time, just general questions. It's a fun repository that we're building there. We've got resources in here, intermittence in training, scaling and substitutions, clean and jerk snatch how, why we wear grips how to wear grip smoothie recipes like I wake up 150 different recipes in here so anyway there's a lot of really cool resources in here in the circle app I'm in here multiple times a day interacting with our athletes and, and I think the athletes are also interacting with each other a lot in this pretty cool app although I track a lot of my workouts on my watch just so that I can see a timer on my watch a lot of times I have an AMRAP or an EMOM and I need something sort of in my ear telling me when to go and that's where I use the smart wad timer it's just a really simple timer it's got AMRAPs it's got four time EMOMs Tabatas all mixed in you can create your own if you pay for the app I don't do that so I just use the free app so if I click on AMRAP I can create AMRAPs in here let's say I want to create an AMRAP that's maybe it's a four minute AMRAP and it's got a two minute rest and another four minute AMRAP and I just start this timer and it will let me know because I'll have an AirPod in my ear or it'll be out loud but if there's music on you can't hear it but in my ears you know three two one go it'll let me know when I'm halfway through the AMRAP it'll tell me when there's 30 seconds left and then it'll stop me at the four minutes and I'll start the rest it'll let me know that you can actually control Control that volume in your ear so even if I'm listening to a podcast I can also be you know listening to this timer so it can guide me through you know it's EMOM is also really great you know every one minute for 24 rounds that's a 24 minute EMOM right there that's that's spicy work right there but uh, again you could pay for this I think it's really cheap I don't pay for it because I just use it about I don't know three or four times a week and it does the job that I need it to do because I travel and I'm at different gyms there are times when I need to convert the calories from an assault bike to an echo bike or some sort of conversion and that's where I like to use an app called cross convert so if uh, the workout has uh, let's call it 50 calories on the ski erg but I don't have a ski erg with me here's what that would translate into in the other different machines so a 50 calorie ski erg would be the equivalent of 50 cows on the rower 50 cows on the bike 38 calories on the assault bike 34 calories on the echo bike a 500 meter run 38 burpees or 188 double unders this is just a fun converter you know I could change this to 50 uh, meters 
Let's make it 500 meters on the ski. Actually, let's call it 500 meters on the rower. Okay, 500 meter row. Shoot, I don't have my rower with me. I mean, I always have my rower with me, but let's say I don't have my rower. Uh, that's going to be 30 calories on the assault bike because miraculously I have an assault bike that day or I'm at a gym that only has echo bikes. It's just a gym full of echo bikes. I'm going to go 27 calories on the echo bike. That should be around the same time and equivalent as 500 meter row. This is really handy. And so whenever you're looking for that conversion, you're searching online, there's just nothing really great that's available. Cross Convert. It's just this app I found a couple of years ago. It's so stinking good. Another app I use quite a bit and I'm not sponsored by these guys, although if they want to sponsor me, that would be great, but is GoWad. Um, they do give us a free year membership when we attend the CrossFit Games. I didn't actually start using this until maybe a month before the games this last year. So I, I burned a whole year without actually using it, but I really like it especially the pre-wad. This is pretty much all I use it for, although it's got a lot more built into it. But with that pre-wad, let's say I've got 10 minutes prior to my workout. I've already done my Boulder athlete warm up, but I just want to warm up more specifically for let's call it the snatch, because that is definitely something that I'm going to warm up for quite a bit. So today's workout is just squat snatch, and I'm gonna have it build a protocol for me to warm up for a squat snatch, and it's gonna just do it. And it's gonna give me 10 minutes of different things to do, and it's gonna lead me through them to get ready for a squat snatch. Like first thing I'm gonna do is bar pass-throughs. This is something we always do when we're warming up for snatch, but this is just a minute to do it. It gives me a timer, tells me what to do. I can skip to the next thing, I can skip to the next thing, and the next thing. And man, I wish I could make the demos look just like this. I wish I looked just like that when when I do this. I don't look like that. So if you get into GoWad and you're like, man, I can't even get in that position. That's totally fine. Neither can I. Uh, these are ultra mobile human beings for the demos, which are great. But we work on building our own mobility through the daily process of doing things like this. And I really enjoy it. And it's really taught me quite a few different variants for things I can do to warm up and become more mobile over time and consistency. Another app I use all the time is the camera app. I mean, that's obvious. I record a lot of videos on my phone for you guys and for Instagram, all of that. So I've got a little mess on my desk of my good or sunglasses. I want to maybe take a video of them, but I'm also listening to a podcast or music in my ears at the same time at the gym. And I don't want to cut off the music when I shoot a video. So if I switch to video, you lose your music, you know that. But if you just keep it on photo, have your music or your podcast going and you just hold the shutter button and scroll it to the side, I'm now recording a video and I'm still listening to my podcast. Boom. How awesome is that? If you didn't know that hack, it's worth the price of admission right now. So there we go. I recorded my Gooder sunglasses and we're done recording and I'm still listening to my podcast without interruption. Like how great is that? This episode is brought to you by Gooder sunglasses. The thing I like the most is that they're $25. So I don't have to use like baby gloves on them. I can just you know, throw them on, throw them on the table. It doesn't matter. I've got three different pairs. This is my sort of sportswear. This is what I'm doing when I'm goofing around at the pool. These are the ones I wear when I'm cycling because I look like a cyclist and a Terminator at the same time. These are like my every day I'm going around and I just want to kind of be cool. I like that they're polarized. My son and I like to go fishing, so it's nice to have polarized sunglasses. Super stylish and they're really light. So if you're out running with my athletic pair on, like they don't bounce around, like they stay on my face really well. I try to demonstrate it, but I don't think it would really come across just right. For $25 plus a one year warranty, I will beat these things up with no regrets. From exercise to running errands to training to gorgeous sunsets, I love my Gooder sunglasses. If you want to support this channel and pick up a pair, Gooder is giving you guys free shipping on your first pair. You can go to gooder.com forward slash Jason Grubb and use code Jason Grubb to get free shipping. Gooder offers a 30 day money back guarantee and 100% satisfaction. Find your pair at gooder.com forward slash Jason Grubb and use code Jason Grubb to get free shipping. Speaking of podcasts, audiobooks, all of those things, what do I use and what am I actually listening to? So I use Audible to listen to audiobooks. I actually just went through the book American Prometheus. I was inspired by the movie Oppenheimer and I wanted to know more about the story, so I downloaded the book and it's very long and I've been working my way through that. So great book. It's fun to listen to. The other thing that I can actually do with Audible is I can listen to it on my watch without my phone being around. So when I'm on a long run, I don't want to take my phone. I have my watch tracking my run and listening to an audiobook on that's really nice so I don't have to carry my phone. I also listen to podcasts and I use an app called Castro for podcasts. I don't 
love Apple Podcasts, although it would allow me to listen to more podcasts on my watch, but that's okay. I use something called Castro. It's just something I've used for years, and it's got all of my podcasts on it, just lists of podcasts. I always have them queued up. So all my subscriptions show up in the inbox, and then here's my queue. Like, I've got the latest Kettlebells and Cocktails podcast downloading right now, so I'll listen to that a little bit later. Then I'll listen to Alex Hermosi. I really enjoy the podcast called The Game. Oftentimes, I'll listen to the Wall Street Journal podcast. Like, whatever. It, it kind of depends on what I'm feeling like that day, but that's a list of podcasts that I listen to. Of course, I listen to Masters in Motion to make sure that Rick and I are just staying on point as we record those podcasts. So be sure to subscribe to Masters in Motion. That's our podcast. We have a lot of fun doing that. And then lastly, I'm often listening to a YouTube video while I'm working out as well. So I really enjoy the My First Million podcast. They have a video version, 47 minutes. That's perfect for a training session. I also listen to a lot of videos produced by Renaissance Periodization, Dr. Mike Isratel, super smart guy. I am a member, so I do get some members only content there. Really enjoy that guy. Uh, Lex Friedman, of course, Joe Rogan. I mean, this is just funny as I go through this, uh, who I listen to and what shows up in my feed because of my listening habits. So that is what I listen to while I'm working out. And I rarely actually listen to music. So I don't even have Spotify on my home screen. I have Spotify on here somewhere, but I don't pay for it. And I don't listen to a whole lot of music when I'm training, unless there's actually music going on in the gym. And I'm doing some sort of a qualifier where I don't want uh, AirPods in my ears, like on double unders, because they just fall out or ring muscle ups. They just launch across the gym. My home screen, this is where I actually use an app called Numericow. And this is just a calculator. And I don't know if you guys experienced for the frustration that I experienced with the built in calculator, even the calculator on my watch. I, I just hate it. So this one, what's really nice about it is I can type in like my snatch 225 and I'm going to do 75% of that times 0 0.75, 168.75. Okay. So that's 75% of my one rep max snatch. Now I need to go up to 80%. I just delete the 75 and I type eight. So it's 0 0.8 now. Now I'm at 180. Ah, let's make it five. Let's, so I just add the five and it updates that automatically. I don't have to retype in everything. Let's take it back to 0 0.9. Okay. 90%. I'm at 202, 95%, 213. Let's go 98%. 220. Okay, really easy. 65% of my deadlift times 0 0.65. 325. Okay, now I need to bump it up to 0 0.7. Let's delete the 0.65 and just add the 7. And I don't have to retype in everything. This is just a super fast way for me to do quick math, not having to delete the whole thing and actually just delete one number at a time makes it really easy for calculating your percentages in a quick way. And it's so much better than the standard calculator. And so those are all the apps on my phone that I use to make my life more entertaining, more fun, full of tracking and data in my workouts. And I am so glad you guys made it to the end of this video and I hope you enjoyed it. If this was valuable or if you think someone else might benefit from this, share it with them. If you wouldn't mind, give us a quick like below and subscribe to the channel. That helps let the YouTube algorithm know that, you know, like we're doing good things over here for Masters Athletes. And as always, guys, remember your best days are ahead of you. Get bolder, not older. See you next time. <laughs>